Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 480. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's not dilly dilly and hop right into it. First news is Kotobukiya Hatsunimiku Pony figure now available for pre order. Okay, we finally have pre orders for the Hatsunimiku Pony reveal a few months ago. Kotobukiya has listed over sorry listed over on the Japanese version of their website right now, complete with a huge gallery showing off both the pony and human from a variety of angles. I have extracted I as in Sophisto have extracted a few for below. Alright, cool cool. So let's check let's check them out. Let's have a quick glance. And yeah, side by side with the pony version. You know what? That's not bad. That, that's really cool. I can't say much about it, but the pony figure looks good, and I think Kotobukiya has nailed it with this one. And since it's not really an original character, but it's something different from what they've done with. Um, their past work in ponies and whatnot. This looks really cool. Yeah, the Hatsune Miku cross pony thing. It's it's something really awesome, and uh, it's up for pre-order. I got no idea how much. Um, I took I, I checked out the um page, uh, the Kotobukiya official Facebook page and. Uh, some people are saying that Big Bad Toys has it up for pre-order. Um, I'm guessing the figure is going to cost you about a hundred plus dollars. So if you're interested, head to your um, usual place of purchase. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, over in Singapore, there is also a anime figure store that I follow on the Facebooks. And they too have it for pre-order, so that's awesome there. So anywho, uh, let's move on to the next news. Um, I have a feeling that this week's news is going to be a little bit slow, even though we have the quota of three news um, content. So next news is main five, uh, sorry, uh, G five main cast cookie from the Ku. Key kids, uh, okay. Uh, one of the <clears throat> sorry, this one popped up a few days ago, and a few people have recommended we post it. So here we go on Instagram, uh, an Instagram page called the Cookie Kids have created a bunch of different cookie based on My Little Pony, a new generation, starting, starring all the main characters in various portrait form. I don't know about you, but I skipped Christmas cookie last two years ago. Uh, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. But I think this is motivating me to get some going this year. Maybe a cookie decoration contest would be fun. Mm. That's something to uh, look forward to. <coughs> and yeah, let's take a look. See, looks good. Looks good. I, I can't say much because honestly um I'm a traditionalist. I, I, I like the chocolate chip cookies and um chocolate chip pecan and what I mean um my cookie selection is just very basic. And this one feels like there is a lot of sugar, especially the icing. I I'm guessing all those colours are just icings. But they look cool and they look good and if I'm not mistaken, I've checked the Cool Key Kids um, Instagram page and they... Oh, I have not logged in. Okay, cool. Um, that, that's troubling. But anyway, uh, they have other things that they do. I'm not 100% sure if this is uh, in the, uh, a, a proper shop or independent uh, thing or whatever it is. But they do have some IPs like um, Trolls that they did. And also some 
a uh, sonic oh that's cool that's cool i haven't seen that one before and then they have some you know generic um cookie style so this is pretty cool this is pretty cool <laughs> cool cookie you know, anyway. um go check them out and just take a look see i mean there's no harm done in doing that and last news for this week is uh hitch and sunny gets sorry hitch and sunny with a heart frame in new marketing video for generation 5. <clears throat> so this is the picture but i'm just going to read this one first uh are they starting to hint at a sunny and hitch relationship or are we doing heart frames for simply friendship now we've got a new little sorry um we've got a new neat little promo released over on the hasbro malaysia instagram page inviting everyone to celebrate the new generation of pony and the still up uh yeah the still up above has a host of things hidden in the background i'll pop the video below for now we can only speculate on what they're implying and yeah uh, the video is on instagram last i checked it's still there and it's pretty cool it's basically what it's doing is it's just letting people know that yo g5 is out and well available uh go check it out blah 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 and so on and so on so <clears throat> uh uh, if you take a look see at the backgrounds and whatnot you get to see um pony figures uh some of the g1 stuff and g4 stuff and uh, some of the g5 arts and whatnot and um the one that i think uh Seth is mentioning is this one you know what give me a second I, I i know how to do this now i thought of something um this capture cursor, this capture cursor. okay 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 so yay there we go it's this one that seth is talking about oh look at them they're uh looking into each other's eyes it's the nice star moonlight skies and whatnot blah 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 and um are they implying they're in a relationship or what blah 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 and in honesty this is one of those things where um it could be just random or it could be just the marketers got no idea what's even going on they just saw this too they thought that oh this looks like a couple so let's pair them up and so on and in all honesty this just could be random they also have the uh, g4 pony art and whatnot and that's about it i guess they also have the unicorn pegasi earth pony symbol down there and i'm not 100 percent sure if this is the g5 version or the g4 version i think this could be g4 with the um canter university something like that or this could be one of twilight's logo thing i, I forgot yeah, but still, um, there's nothing. Uh, how how do I put it? I uh, don't look too much into it. It just could be uh, random stuff. But all in all, it's fun to look at. It's fun to look at. <laughs> and with that, that goes the news for this week. So um, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So there's there's a few things that I want to kind of point out and highlight um, one of the few things is that i've recorded my dungeons and dragons session it's not too great in terms of how um quality or whatnot it, it, it's very basic that's how i can say um you you get to see the board you get to see the stuff i mean it's it's so, so um, <laughs> serviceable yes that's what i'm looking for it's serviceable <laughs> i cannot speak serviceable yes and i hope you guys go check it out over on uh, youtube.com slash norman sanzo that's where i'll be posting them uh they're a bit long i understand if you 
I don't fully check it out. But it's one of those things where, hey, it's something I'm into and I, I guess you might be interested too. And it's one of those things where the story is fun, like the role-playing aspect is really cool. Uh, another thing that I'm into is Metroid Dread on the Nintendo Switch. Um, played it, really enjoyed it, and oh my god, it is a fun game. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm at the last boss, and oh boy, he's giving me trouble. Real big trouble. Other than that, um, there's nothing much I can say. It's... Metroid Dread is a fun game. D&D is a fun experience when you have uh, friends and whatnot. Also, um, what else? I haven't done a lot of Magic the Gathering. Uh, video game is just Metroid Dread. I haven't been playing any other than that because there's a few things going on with, um, well, with my uh, daily life. Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I, I think that's about it in terms of personal matters and whatnot. Um, oh, I did watch a movie. I, I, I watched, um, the Ryan Reynolds movie, the, the guy, the, um, what, what was that movie? Um, uh, you know, I, I need to check this one out. Uh... Oh man. Let's see movie he recently did. Ah, Free Guy, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh yes. <clears throat> um watch Free Guys and it was um, how, how do I put this? Free Guy is a video game movie kind of thing where if uh, how do I put this? It's the world is set in. Um, I'm trying to find the right words. Free Guy is a movie about an NPC who gains sentient kind of thing, where he know that he you know he can think and he's going beyond his program and whatnot, and from that point on, hilarity ensues because. Um, to him, he's real and whatnot, but to the rest of the NPCs, or sorry, the rest of the real players, they think it's a glitch in the system. Uh, one of the cool things or annoying things, if you guys are interested, is that uh, real streamers appeared in the game uh, from, I think, XQC was one of them, uh, Ninja, and also... Jacksepticeye and so on so it's kind of cool because it's related to the gaming world but man it's it's not for everyone um I watched it with a friend of mine and this friend has this habit of going to sleep when certain scenes happen and what I mean by certain scenes is that uh, if the scene is slow or there's a lot of exposition, he will sleep through it. And in all honesty, I got no idea if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I find it very interesting as a barometer for is this movie entertaining or not. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's the news for this week and those are my things that I did. So let's move on to the next topic and that is the end credits so if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at emissiongmail.com you can also reach us on the twitter the show's twitter account is at the mbs show and my personal twitter account is at norman sanzo you can also catch us on pony sorry uh, you can also subscribe and rate us on itunes youtube don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also stitcher radio and also like our facebook page you can also catch us on for live life dot Home. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe and rate us on the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you can catch me, Totera, sometimes Silver, and guests, probably, yes, 
um, reviewing Pony episodes, comics, movies, and also um, specials. Sometimes we like to talk about other things other than ponies, and those could be cartoons, animes, comics, mangas, movies, video games, and so on. Probably we haven't really talked about books because book takes this, um, how do I put this, T- investment in time where you need to sit down and really read through it. And if you're not a fan of reading, that can, how do I put this, if you're not a fan of reading, it can really be a drag. But if it is, but if it's your jam, then it's natural for you. But that's besides the point. That's besides the point. So yes, um, do subscribe there too. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I guys catch <laughs> And I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.